Well, it's Friday morning, a shade after nine. I'm on my way to pick up those uh, knives from Virginia Beach. I showed you the knives I got yesterday afternoon. I just got a call from, remember the guy I picked up a sample knife from two zero into that little orange handle uh, Fuji Fury or whatever the hell you call it. He just called me, he got a gang of knives to pick up and the lady called me, I, I got to pick up a bunch of yard yard stuff and maybe knives, I can't remember, from her house this morning. She's going out of town for the weekend. So it sounds like Friday's going to be a big knife dig. Uh, what do you call it, a ripper of a knife day. We'll see how it goes. Stand by, we're uh, outbound. Well, I got one set. They're wrapped up in this bubble wrap. There's uh, two big saboteur slicers and six or either eight uh, old Sheffield pearl handle steak knives. 50-50, serrated on the front, bladed on the back. He said it's had them 40 years, all of them. Okay, we're headed for the second pickup. Well, that's not actually true. We're headed to the post office first to drop those, uh, uh, what were they, Cutco's, some three Cutco's I bought at the flea market. I mean, at the, uh, what do you call it, thrift store. i got to send them to Illinois. They're going to Illinois. Okay, back to you in a minute. You see a big fat towel wrapped up. You know, it's got a lot of knives in it. <laughs> oh, God, you ain't going to believe it. Stand by. Edge trimmers, great big loafers, two pair of pruners. All right, let's take them as we got them. Bubble wrap knives, two nice saboteurs, six, no, six, yeah, six steak knives, stainless steel Sheffield England. No, yeah, stainless Sheffield England. He said he's had them a long time, 40 years maybe. That's six of those. And then the next guy in the big blanket got a carbon, big carbon chef's knife. And it's a saboteur as well. And this one is a lasting cut. Mm. An international heckle. Spain. This one, I presume, is a, another international heckle. Don't have to be, but I think it is. No, it's wore down bad. Same as this one. Then we have another international, China. No, nothing readable on this one. The different creature. So we got three, seven, one, two, three, four, five, seven from him, and eight from him. And you know the nine I think we got from last night, and all that yard stuff right there. So we're going to be busy in Rancho Max today. It's hot outside. And we'll have to put an air conditioner in my garage. Stand by. Well, I forgot about the ones in the bag. You saw them yesterday about a garage, but there are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the bag. There are seven heckles. No, six heckles. This is a little Chinese para. This is a Victor Knox. I'm going to call it a fillet knife. There are two of these. One's in a little better shape than the other one, as far as blade width goes. Okay, that's the end of the line. Now we have to go to work.
You ain't gonna believe it. You just ain't gonna believe it. I got a call just a minute ago from a guy. Want me to meet him about five minutes from where I live. He said, Max, I need your help. I got some knives I need you to work on in this bag right here. Stand by. First, I gotta give you the story. I got the bag empty. Day before yesterday, he had a stop drain in his kitchen. He went to Lowe's and bought some drain cleaner. He didn't tell me what kind it was. It came in a tube, he said. So he put it in his sink to unstop the sink. And apparently, it didn't unclog the sink. But what it did do, from what he explained and tried to describe, is it it kind of backed up from from once it got into the sink, it backed up and exploded, so to speak, with caustic fumes into his kitchen. And above his sink was a big metal metallic rack that he kept all his knives on. And his silverware was in his dishwasher and it backed up into the dishwasher and I don't know how to explain it to you other than to show you. The knives were hanging on a magnet. They got some kind of caustic coating over them. Look at them. He said the whole house, anything that was exposed metal is like that. Look at this knife here. Stainless steel. The spoons were in the dishwasher and the silver tray. Scissors are on a rack. On the magnet, I should say. That's awful. I don't know if my buffer will buff that out or not. I don't know what what that has done to him. Look at that one. Ah. They're all like that. We're gonna have to see. A new adventure, a new path we're going down. Stand by. Oh, I got all this stuff done. I might as well show it to you. That's all cleaned up, sharpened, as is that one, and that one, and that one. Any of these big old hedge trimmers? I gotta take them back to the lady about an hour. All right, stand by. I'll let you know how this goes. <laughs> well, I dropped off all the knives. The last guy had $50 worth of knives. He paid me in $2 bills. Brand spanking new, all consecutive numbers. He said, if you was in the Navy, you'd understand. I said, okay. 40, 24 $2 bills. And one, he folded up in a t-shirt. It's supposed to look like a t-shirt. I think the grandkids will get some of these. 40, 24, $2 bills. Actually, 25. I forgot about the folded up one. You never know. See you later.